Here is an easy, cheap and fun way to scrape any website on the internet using NADEN and Appify. You're not going to need any programming skills and it's way faster than you dabbling around with different tools to get this result done. So I'm going to show you how it works and if it is the first time that you're hearing about Appify, think of it like renting the work of other people on demand for very cheap. So pretty much what it does is you have actors that you can rent that other people have built for you and it will let you scrape different websites. All that you do is you pay for this actor and you pay for however much help you want. And then from there, you plug it into your automation and you're good to go. So let's take a look at this as an example. You could extract data from TikTok. You could extract data from Google Maps or even Instagram. You choose. There are actors that were built to scrape pretty much any website on the web. In fact, there are 4,500 actors for you to choose from. So pretty straightforward. In this case, let's say that you would like to go ahead and scrape data out of a known database called Apollo. You can actually do that through Appify. So all you have to do is come here and search for actors, type in Apollo, for example, and choose one of these already created actors for you to rent. In this case, let's say I'm choosing this one right here. Scrape up to 50k leads. This was created by someone called Code Pioneer, and he's shared this with the community. All you have to do is pay him $1.20 to scrape a thousand leads. So all you'd have to give Code Pioneer, in this case, his actor, is the Apollo URL that you want to scrape. So you would go to Apollo, you would search whatever you want to get out. So let's say, let me copy even this list right here to give you an idea. So let's say a list of CEOs, founders, co-founders, uh, co-owners, managing partners, and owners that are of specific companies that are within one to 50 employees in terms of company size and that are located in the United States. So all I have to do is plug the URL from this search into Appify and it will find me the final result, which is the actual leads that are within Apollo. It will scrape everything automatically for me. All I would have to do is click on save and start, and I'm going to get the final result. So once I click on start running, you're going to see the actor will start. In this case, I'm using a free plan, so it will fetch only 100 leads. And at the end of this, it's going to give me 100 results, like you can see right here. I can then click on export 100 results, save it as a CSV file, and voila, I've got a file that would have all of that data from Apollo already. Now, Let's say that you wanted to do something else. You can see right here, here is the data, here are the emails that were from those prospects. Very easy, very straightforward. Now let's say I want to scrape Google Maps instead. All I would do is the exact same process. I'll come here on Appify. I will then go to search Appify store. I'm going to type in Google Maps. So I'll just put Maps in here. And I'm going to use the Google Maps extractor from Compass. Let's say this one right here. And it's going to be the same thing. I'll just have to give it a search term, location, and number of places to extract, and language if I want to optionally add. So now that you understand how Appify works and how you can rent these actors for very cheap and get them to extract data for you, all I'm going to show you is how to put this on autopilot with a tool like NADEN. All you'd have to effectively do is the following. You'd have to come in here on this extractor. You'd want to come to the API. So it's going to be right here in the top right corner of the screen. And you want to come to API endpoints. From now onwards, you're able to trigger this from another tool. In this case, let's say NADEN, but it could have been Make, it could have been Zapier, it could have been even Code if you have programming skills. And then you're going to want to select this one right here, Run Actor Synchronously and Get Data Items. Let me explain. If you were to choose Run Actor or Run Actor Synchronously, what you're going to choose is that you want Appify to run this automation and then for you to have to call back when you want the results. But that is inefficient because you don't know when it's finished running. So instead, what you could do is you just run this actor synchronously, wait for it to finish, and you get the data set item. So that is the most straightforward option. I always go for this one. So all that you have to do is click here on copy to copy the endpoint. You go to NADEN. And then what you want to do is you want to set up an HTTP request. So in this case, I already created one to give you as an example. And if you open it, this one has Apollo's data in it. But if I want to replace it with this Google Scraper, all I would have to do is paste the Google Scraping API endpoint with my API key that automatically comes from Appify. Now that I've done this, all I have to do is give it the body. The body is information that I want to pass through to set as the filter for Appify to work from. That is actually very simple. So all I have to do is come here on Google Maps Extractor, click on JSON, and copy this example code. It's actually very simple to understand. You don't need to understand the structure of it. You, all you need to know is what you have to replace. So in this case, if I want to replace the language, I would do it here. If I want to replace the location query, I would do it here. So let's say instead of New York, I would like to have it to be Florida. I can do that. And if I want to scrape only 10 places instead of 50, I can do that here as well. And I can change whatever I want to search. So instead of restaurants, let's say I want to search for HVAC or let's say law firm. 
Let's put law form instead. And then I can just keep close places if I want to, but from here, I'm pretty much good to go. So if I were to test this step, you'll see that it will already trigger Appify and it will wait for the result to come through. So it's not going to automatically give us the result. It's actually running the Appify. If you were to open Appify itself and come here on runs, you will see that this is running and it was triggered automatically. So it's been running for 10 seconds, 13 in this case, and it should be done. Finished. And if I come back here on uh, NADEN, I already have the final result. So this is all that you need. One caveat though, you will have to come here on the options, timeout, and put this to a very big number. So in case it does take a long time, it doesn't stop the automation from running. So just put this to a very big number and you're going to be completely okay. Any of these other options here, you don't have to worry about unless you're going to be sending a lot of requests all at once. Then you want to use batching and you want to just batch the items to not hit any limits from Appify. So for example, like this. So you're only sending 10 items every two seconds. That is very straightforward. Another tip if you are new to NADEN is that you can come to the settings and you can have it retry in case it fails. So I can say that I wanted to retry up to three times with five seconds of delay in between each try. That is in the case there is an error and I don't want the automation to just stop for no good reason. So in that case, I'll just have it retry. Um, and that is all that I would do. And now I got all of this data. So all I have to do if I want to put this on autopilot is instead of having a manual trigger, I just put a trigger that is on schedule. So for example... Let me put here a schedule trigger. And I'm going to say that I want it to run every single day at midnight. So every single day at midnight, it will try to find those law firms from Google. Very straightforward. From here, all I have to do is transform my data in whatever I want to, if I want to enrich it further, etc. Which, by the way, you can also use Appify to do that. But now you know how to do an HTTP request directly to the tool, get the final results, and you're good to go. You're ready to put your lead gen on autopilot. Now, if you want to see more automations like this one that can save you a lot of time, save you money, and make you money at the same time, you should definitely check out this other video recorded on the top seven automations that we leverage in our agency. I'll see you there.